Some say love, it is a river that drowns the tender Some say love, it is a razor that leads your soul to bleed. Some say love, it is a hunger, an endless aching need. But I say love, it is a flower, and you. It's only seed. Welcome, beautiful people. It's your girl Kana. How are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. And for those of you who did not get uh, the memo with the song, we are talking about love. Yes, relationships and love. I'm going to be your relationship and love coach for that day. So, buckle up sit still get some popcorns get a drink and we will get started guys i think with love really it depends on your how, your outlook and how you look at love or your experience with love that's how people will define it as you uh, as um the song was saying samsa love it is a river that drowns that tender <laughs> and others say love is like a razor that leads your soul to to bleed so i think that one i, I think whoever like composed that one was heartbroken at that moment and another one says that love is like a hunger and uh, an endless aching need right and some of us like experience love that we never get satisfied I think just because if you're not getting satisfied with love, I think because you're not getting the right love that you need. In the dictionary, it says love is an intense feeling of deep attraction. Intense feeling of deep attraction. Wow. Let me take you in on it because I have to read it down. I can't, I can't, I, I can't memorize things. For real, I cannot memorize things. And another definition is love is a great interest and pleasure in something. Great interest and pleasure in something. You have to get where you fall in this love thing that we are literally talking about. But the biblical love states. I'm giving you all of these things because before I get true what I think love is, you have to know what other people think love is and what the other platforms think love is right that is the only way you can get to uh, get to pass through it all so um the bible love is love is patient and kind love does not envy or boast it is not arrogant or rude it does not insist on its own way it is not irritable or resentful it does not rejoice at at wrongdoing but rejoices with the truth that is at least a, a, a verse that talks about love there are so many verses that talk, talk about love so that's first corinthians 13 verse 4 for those of you who want to check it out and the spiritual standpoint of love says that spiritual love is not about lust or power it's about connection, respect, and a deep understanding of one another. It's about seeing each other's soul and honoring the divine within each other. And that is my best definition. Leave alone uh, the dictionary, leave alone the Bible stuff. But this is like the spiritual love is the best definition because it's literally what uh, I go with and I, and I stand with in love before I even like read about it. So to get to get to to make this video, I had to like do my research and I had to like see where everybody was talking about love and everything. And 
it surprised me that my kind of love and the kind of love like that i know in myself is literally the same as the spiritual love you know for those of you who did not listen in the first definition let me repeat it for you spiritual love is not about lust or power it's about connection respect and a deep understanding of one another it's about seeing each other's soul and honoring the divine within each other so that brings us to the point what is love to me as kana what is love what is love if you cannot forgive okay <laughs> leave it alone um i think love one of the things that love is love can be a lot of things as i said Love can be a lot of things. I don't have a, 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 um, a definite definition of love because every single person loves in their own kind of way. But I think the real thing that we would be talking about is how can you love in the right kind of way, right? Be it relationships, be it uh, friendships, be it love, lovers, work partners, I, I don't know. Be it all. How can you... Um, do it in a good and healthy way so this is what we are going to be talking about but mostly we are going to be uh leaning on more of the side of love like partners and romantic the romantic love like you and me one on one one egg <laughs> don't mind me and for those of you who like uh recognizing this i one thing i knew i know about like my people who are watching me you guys see everything and anything yeah so before you ask this is a cannula yeah your girl is a little sicky so we are on medication don't worry i won't die hey i won't go out without a bomb if i'm going to go out i will have to go out with a yeah <laughs> all right so first thing first things first yeah don't judge my english i'm not english first things first i think one of the most important things that we have to consider in a loving relationship and all we want to pursue love all we want to <coughs> get in whatever partnership and relationship first thing is attraction now when i say attraction don't get me wrong like baby girl you're hot yes i know thank you very much but that is not the attraction we are talking about because all of this doesn't matter in the long run it it will grow, grow old it will wither and fade away right um i think we have to be attracted for the right reasons be it person be it careers be it uh, friends we always have to be attracted to something for the right reasons not because of what the materialistic things they can give us but so guys one of the things that i have come to realize that in life we have to be very careful of what attracts us to the other person or the other thing right and usually it's not even about like money it's not about all oh, these persons rich usually with people it's all about money usually so it's not about money it's not about all this i get this out of this relationship right but i think it's mostly about character so if you are attracted to a certain character and you literally take your time to think about oh how do these people like um act and how do i feel when i am besides them do i see myself literally being with them for the long run of the relationship whatever relationship that i'm going to be with or whatever career that i'm going to even choose right it might be that you're having a big check but at the end of the day you don't even want to deal with whatever that that job is getting to you right and you feel like you're draining yourself and every single day because you were attracted to the wrong thing even in the beginning you never thought about anything else you never sit down to think like oh my god i'm letting this person in my life but are they really good people will they give me peace or will they bring chaos in my life so this when i'm talking about peace the one thing the internet hates is peace yeah 
it's peace because they are always talking about oh my god don't let a person be say that you're my peace no we want peace even I as a woman, like if I am with a man and I don't get peace, I cannot feel comfort when I'm with you. I can love you, but do I feel comfort when I'm with you? Those are diff two different things. Do I feel good about myself when I'm with you? You know, all of these things and every single thing that I have said right now can be broken by just character and ways of a human being so don't look with attraction don't first look at the materialistic things i think the materialistic things are icing on the cake really it's icing on the cake i personally i personally i personally i think i would uh, you know i would literally reject anybody who literally just comes and the only one redeeming thing that they have to to literally show is their riches what else what, what else do you have like are you a good person you you can't even speak right you can't you're rude you and you don't even have to be good to me you have as long as you're bad to other people and you're good to me i know in the long run everything will change you can change on me you can change on me because with attractions and feelings and relationships it's not about right now it's about the long run unless you're literally doing a one night stand then it's about right now mm, it's about right now if it's a one night stand it's about right now we have to be like for real for real but for real people stop being attracted to the wrong things a lot of people are so attracted to the wrong things you can literally get with a guy and you know you know they are going to literally do things to you they are going to ruin your life but because you're attracted to that one single redeeming quality quality and you neglect every single other thing and at the end of the day your life is messed up and you're like oh my god i wish and another thing that i would want to literally say before we go on is that if anybody I, I promise you this if anybody I repeat if anybody ever gets in your life for a relationship be it a man be it a woman and your life becomes worse than the life you already had when you were alone they are not good for you they are not good for you you might love them but leave them please do it for yourself i this i speak from experience not my own experience but i have seen somebody in the same situation and these people their lives their life became so bad you can't even imagine it and they just because they love the man but their lives they were cut off from their family they, everything turned bad for them their friends left them just for one man it doesn't make sense huh? and they themselves it, the girl was thick she was beautiful she she had like a figure that you could die for and all of a sudden i see her and she's literally withering away and she's becoming more tiny and tiny and tiny because of a man so please and even men out there if you literally are with a girl who is not going to give you peace you don't have a peace of mind you don't need to be in a relationship where you don't have peace other people we, who add on our lives, who we add on our lives and who come in our lives should add something in our lives. If it's if you found me something good, God knows I need it to be this high. Like from this good, let's when you add yourself on me, it becomes more good. <laughs> Better, in fact. So be very careful to who you are attracted to and why you are attracted to them. I personally, I am so attracted to character. It's not about your money. It's not about your fame. It's not, it's not about any of that. That, I love it. Don't get me wrong. I love myself like some cash. But it's, it's the icing on the cake. But the real cake, the real cake comes with eggs milk and flour and all of that so be very careful of what you literally let come in your life be it career be it everything so on the career thing i want to give you like a uh, story time uh, a person uh, reached out to me and 
as for those of you who do not know i'm like a fashion designer right and they reached out to me they were like oh my god i would want to um do to, to make clothes with you and they have like a company and it's everything that you would want to literally work with and they're like oh you're going to be uh doing this and you're going to be doing female wear and everything we are doing male wear but i want you to do female wear and all of that and i'm like okay that's good you're going to be with your own office i'm like mm, that's good i go and check it out and everything but it had so many loopholes let me tell you one thing it had so many loopholes huh it looked good but it was not worth it it was not worth it and i literally had to let that go though it would look good and it would do something in my life but it would have made more damage than good i had to let that go so be very careful be very careful second thing about relationships that you have to literally work on and consider in building a very healthy relationship is communication so right now i'm talking to you like we are talking you know you might not be like replying but you reply afterwards but for real we are talking i speak about anything that i need to speak about you know and one of the best things is communication communication people think that it's oh it's a waste of time or i don't want to talk about that or i don't you can't do anything with a relationship if you don't talk to people your partner your whatever your boyfriend your girlfriend if you're not talking if you don't have a healthy communication relationship it's not going to work out if i do something wrong i'm in a relationship with you and i do something wrong tell me because god knows i am non-telepathic and i do not read minds i will not change something if i don't know if this stabs you i will not be able to fix something in the relationship if we don't talk we don't talk about the good, bad we don't talk about the good we don't talk about anything we just I don't even know how people like go through the relationships if they are not talking because then what are you doing in the relationship if you cannot talk to me and I'm in a relationship with you then we are not in a relationship because God knows the person I talk to is the one I'm in a relationship with I personally don't talk to a lot of people I speak too much but I don't talk to a lot of people my friends don't even like see me talking the moments I find them, I'm not even talking, you know. And if I'm talking, I'm not. I'm. I'm talking about stupid stuff. I'm not even talking about myself or my emotions or what I feel. So you will never know, unless I'm in a relationship with you and we are literally, you know. Then you will know what is going on in my life. I don't even keep things in there. I give it to you. Take it as it is. And at the end of the day, if you also have something that is bothering you or maybe i'm doing or i'm doing something wrong and it's like bugging you tell me because at the end of the day we can't change it if you don't tell it so please communicate in whatever relationship especially a relationship that you want to last communicate be like baby this and this and this it's doing this and this and that you know we communicate all the time so do it you need it in your life in your work in your everything communication is the key to every single relationship that you literally involve yourself in if you don't communicate forget about it and another thing that i am literally so strongly about in relationships is respect now let me tell you one thing there is no love if there is no respect that is the one thing that breaks relationships respect people don't know how to respect each other first of all in order to respect your partner or something that you're literally involved with a relationship there are so many relationships right now so that's why i'm literally uh including something <laughs> you know one of the things you have to always be careful with is respect respect the person when you are mad respect the person when you are happy respect them 24 7 and they should do the same to you it, you know people think respect goes one way but respect goes two ways 
if you cannot respect me and I, I can't respect you, then how will we build a good, healthy relationship? Because I, I can't tell you something and it's so disrespectful and you're like, how did this girl come to even get to the point of telling me something like that? You know, for me, I personally, one of the things that breaks <laughs> any relationship that I am in and I could be in is if a person is disrespectful i don't like disrespect in any way form or size or what i don't like disrespect because if you forget yourself and maybe we are arguing and then you're like you you tell me something and you're like you call me a name and i'm like mm, you, you you forgot yourself you forgot yourself because if i love you i can't be that disrespectful to you i really cannot you know so people learn how to be respectful and before you even be respectful to another person be respectful to yourself mm. be respectful for, to yourself because when you one of the things that people who are disrespectful um, end up being disrespectful to others is because they are disrespectful disrespectful to themselves oh my god the word is wording in my mouth for real you need to always remember yourself. How do you speak to the person you love? How do you talk? How do you communicate? Even though I'm angry, am I going to call this person a name? If you feel like you will still call them a name, you don't love them, leave it alone. Because for me, I, I literally equate disrespect to not loving me. I, I can't, I can't, I can't take disrespect. Leave it alone. Mm. Another important thing is compromise. People don't know the meaning of compromise. You guys, people don't know the meaning of compromise. For those of you who know, put it in the comment section. For real. When you are in a relationship, you need to know when to compromise. And relationships are compromises. So I personally, there are so many things that I would love. And that I can do individually. But there are so many things times i find myself that if i am in a relationship i will compromise you know and it just depends like maybe let's say we are arguing about something you know i want to paint the house red mm -hmm. and my babe baby boy is like i want the house black and nobody no one on both sides is like saying you know what I'll compromise and be like, mm, I'll, uh, yeah, somebody, is, one of us can do it, you know, and we keep on arguing, we keep on arguing, nobody wants to give away power, as it said literally in the, in the spiritual love, the definition of spiritual love, that it's not about lust or power, you need to know when to submit, submission is not that, oh my god, they're telling me to submit, no, you need to know when to back down, you know? There are moments in life when <laughs> if I started, I can like go on for the whole entire day. And I, when I have something in my mind, I can't change it, right? But there are moments when I back down and I'm like, no matter how I want this, I have to back down. I have to compromise. That is when I compromise, right? Because a lot of us were born in different kinds of where we have our own wills. Some of us have stronger wills than others. If you have met me, you will know. But then it's hard to know because you don't spend a lot of time with me, you know? And I have a will of steel, for real. <laughs> it's crazy. But I do. When I say it, it's done, it's done. When I say I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, you know? And when I want it to be done in a certain way, it has to be done in a certain way. But there are many moments where I compromise, but I only compromise for people I love. Other people, you will not find me compromising. But the people I love, I will compromise. If you're close to me, I will compromise. I will, there are moments I will back down and be like, you know what, baby girl? You know what, baby boy? Do you? Let's do what you want at the end of the day. Because... I know that what will make you happy is going to make me happy as well, you know? And I don't mean that, oh, now the other partner is going to take uh, advantage of the compromise. No, don't take advantage of it. Also, you have to learn 
to both of you have to learn when to back down there are moments in life i'm in a relationship and there there is something that i'm very passionate about you know and in categories of of uh, compromise you have to also know where is this person coming from why are they so adamant of that specific thing why do they want it in that specific way right and if you know their reasons and their reasons are valid you can back down you can back down anytime it doesn't make you weak it doesn't make that the other person has more power for, uh, than you but it makes you literally the bigger person and it will sure. give you peace it will give you peace and you will be happy because at the end of the day the person you love is also happy so let's be happy together give yourselves a hug <laughs> i'm so crazy oh my guys if you are in a relationship and you don't have compassion i'm telling this to the people who are in relationships just to look into yourself and fix it or the people who want to get into relationships so compassion let me tell you one thing you cannot give something that you don't have and a lot of people are not compassionate to themselves to themselves a lot of people cannot give love because they don't have love you know you're going with the flow of the world because like everybody has a boyfriend when we were young like we would grow up and you reach a moment in your life and you're like oh my god for me i don't even have like a boyfriend and you're like and because like every single person around you has a boyfriend and you're like oh my god i don't even have and then you'll find yourself like looking for that tiny boy you know because you're going with the world, you're going with the flow of the world. That is not how the world really works. And at the end of the day, you don't need to be pressured with the world. You as a person, you have to work on yourself. Get kindness to yourself. Get kindness and love and compassion and care to yourself. And then it will be so much easier to give it to others. I, it's so easy to give happiness if like if 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 a person has ever been close to me the one thing they will tell you that oh my god i love spending time with you because like you give me uh, you give me happiness right uh recently i was with a friend of mine and they were like oh i want i love spending time with you Be they are so busy and they are like I, I would want to spend time with you and I spent time with them and we're just talking and getting a drink and everything and they were like I love spending time with you because you make me like a normal person, you know, you make me feel normal uh, My life is chaotic and you make me feel normal like you are so fun to be with and you just you just bring everything down, you know G give me peace and bring everything down with everything that is out there when you are when i'm being with you it doesn't matter if we are friends we are um in a relationship it doesn't matter when i'm with you i will want to give you something you know i might not give you materialistic things because i barely have those but i will give you what i have and what i have is my character of being literally happy all the time of being of being uh kind I will give you kindness, I will give you happiness, I will give you peace, you know, because I myself have them, so I can give them. I, it, it, I don't even have to work on it, I just give it to you so naturally because I have it. So at the end of the day, this is one of the, like, the best, um, the best advice, uh, advices I could give you. Compassion, you have, first have to have compassion to yourself, have a good heart to yourself have kindness to yourself love yourself and it will be so easy for you to love it because you have it you have what to give you so it will not be hard a lot of people don't have it and i see them struggling so much and they are like oh my god what is this what is that you know and a lot of people don't even have care they might like you but they can't care for you they might like you but they can't put in their all because they don't have anything to give right that's why you might find like you might say, tell a person that oh my god i want this and not the materialistic things but i want the care and um and you're not talking to me and you're doing this and you're doing that and they're like i have given you all that i can give you it's n it's not because they are lying it's because they really have given you all they can they can give you because that is all they have in them if you have abandoned 
love care and peace and happiness i i am happy for no reason you'll find me a lot of people have found me and they're like oh my god why are you happy and i tell them i don't have a reason i don't know i'm just happy <laughs> i'm just happy you know uh, why, why are you why are you like walking around and you're dancing and you're like just cheerful and it's hard out and I'm like, I don't know, I, because I don't have a reason, I, I, it just comes. And it's not because I was born with it, but I had to learn it. I had to literally give myself that. I had to learn to love myself and I had to learn to be kind to myself. Once upon a time, I was never kind to myself. I had to be compassionate to myself. So what are you doing with yourself? Fix yourself and then you'll fix that relationship you want to literally be going in and last thing is forgiving baby girl baby boy like what are you doing holding a grudge for eternity be forgiving this is one of the things that break relationships so if a person i'm giving you an example to myself like um if let's insinuate like a person i'm in a relationship and but a person does something to me or maybe let's say cheat he cheats and if i can't forgive you i will leave you you know if i can't forgive you i will leave you but if i decide to forgive you and stay huh? no if i decide to stay then i will have to forgive you you know and I will, I will not have to bring it up. I will not have to like hold the grudge that every single every single time I, I see, I'm like, you know? There are moments when you're like, every single time you see that person passing by you, be it friend, be it... You're literally in a relationship with them. You're still in a relationship with this thing. But you hate it so much because of that thing that you could not forget that they did to you. I personally, if I cannot forgive you, I will leave you. So if you have a relationship with anything and you cannot forgive them for what they did to you sometime back, years back, whatever, leave it. There is no reason to be there because you have hatred. We all know you have hatred in you. For when you are, are, are holding a grudge, grudges build hatred. Hmm? Grudges build hatred and it does not only concern to to like uh, another person But you can also have a grudge on yourself So it will build hatred in you and you will start portraying hatred as I said you only give what you have You only give what you have if I'm going to stay be, to still be annoyed and angry with you and I'm going to like uh still hold a grudge i will gain hatred and if i gain hatred it will start showing in my relationship because when you're going to be speaking and i'm going to remember that thing and i'm going to be like you know what shut up you know i'm going to blow up or i'm going to say something hurtful to you because I'm, i still feel that hurt and forgiveness is not only for the other person it's for your own good i think forgive uh, hatred is like a harder burden to carry than love Hatred is the hardest burden to carry than love. Take it from me. I when I tell you like I have experienced everything and anything in this in this young age of mine, I have been there, I have done it. You know? I have been there and I have done it. So everything that I tell you, I'm like, I know. Hatred is the biggest burden to carry. The moment I let go of hatred, that is the moment I have ever felt more happy. So right now, right now a person could do something to me and I will never feel hatred to them because I don't allow myself to feel hatred to them. I know it will kill me as I go on. I know I will see and be like, once a person, oh my god, this is like not the best story to tell you, but let me give you an example. Once a person did something to me, so we were in in like a, a, a traffic jam what days back then when i still when i was still working on myself <laughs> we're in a traffic jam and no no not a traffic jam we were on the lights and they had like flashed and we could not move right in the car and i was sitting in a taxi and this girl passes by me and i didn't like her because she had done something to me and i hated her and i'm like oh. for real i 
there was a split moment in my mind and i was like i wish that car would move <laughs> she was passing by our car and I'm, I'm, she's in front and i'm like i wish the car would move that is how and afterwards after i thought that i was like oh, kana what no it could never be you you know and i had to go back home and i am a very prayerful person so i had to like pray a lot for me i pray a lot about everything if it refuses to go i pray about it you know so at the end of the day i prayed and i repented and i'm like i i, I wanted that that the anger that i had for this person to go away so if you're dealing with anger and literally you can't sometimes we can't do these things for on our own and you can't uh remove it on your own pray about it that is the best advice i could give you pray about it and work on all of these things that i have told you you will see that your relationships will be so much different and better always communicate if you are in a relationship that you would want to pursue for the long run always communicate be it be it friendship be it uh romantic be it career whatever always communicate don't just keep quiet and swallow things but talk to me talk, talk to somebody you know and um it will help you out in the long run be compassionate and be respectful it doesn't even matter if you're in a relationship with people but be respectful to yourself and to others around you because you just can't you just can't go being disrespectful it's one of the most unattractive things a person could ever do be it a man or a woman like be in control of how you act and how you say put out things out there in the world it will help you in the long run so guys thank you very much for watching this is my take on romance and um, i was giving you literally tips on how to improve your romantic relationships for those of you romantic and all kinds of relationships and um, for those of you who are getting into in a relationship who are thinking about it or for those of you who are already in it you can always go back and revise yourself revise yourself to be a better person at the end of the day because for me i would do this just because not for the other person but for me myself because i know i would want to be in a stable and good relationship a healthy one so that when even if in the long run i'm like this relationship did not work out i know i can look back and be like you know what i was never the problem i i, I did all that i could right and um that is very important another another important thing like that i usually concentrate about for me in the relationships that i have even like been in is that no matter what um i try to be good in a way that even if we are literally done and the relationship is done you can literally look back and be like you know what i can speak to kind of like one of the most important things is that in a relationship whatever relationship you're in try to do good so that no matter how uh the relationship like comes to an end at the end of the day you don't know what will happen in that in the long run but if it does come to an end you look back and you look back and you're like you know what i did all that i could i was you know you did all that you could and you did not regret it you, you can't be like oh my god i wish i talked to her oh my god i wish i treated him well oh my god i wish like i i i mm? you know all of those things like uh, don't m d make sure that it's not your fault make sure that you're not the one at fault at the end of the day so do your all put in your all because at the end of the day these are relationships and they are ours but uh one of the things that i hate most re literally what is happening in the world right now is that people have stigmatized relationships so much the moment a relationship comes out and a person is like oh my god like i have a baby boy and i have a baby girl like that i love and everything the first thing people are going to think about it is like they will break up they will break up just give it i give it a month i give it six months they will break up uh, it's already stigmatized you're getting in a relationship with with that thought especially like one of the things that i want you to always remember change your mindset because every time you get into a relationship and you're like men are cheaters first of all you think that you're going to get into a relationship 
thinking that and it's not you're going to be like so disturbed that you're not even going to enjoy the relationship let me tell you one thing about what i think about cheating is that cheating is a decision a woman can cheat a man can cheat it's a decision you make a decision and if it's an individual decision and a lot of people are literally out there deciding to do bad things but there are also a lot of people who are deciding to do good things so if people are deciding to do to do bad things it means that there is some men who decide to not be cheaters if if cheating is a decision think about it so not all men are cheaters some are cheaters others are good so don't go in a relationship thinking that oh my god he's going to cheat oh my god she is going to cheat you know go in a relationship saying that you know what this one this one is not going to cheat mm. go in it just not being negative be positive for once in your life and don't start a relationship and being like oh my god they are going to break up no just because every single relationship that has been close to you has has failed it doesn't mean that there are no relationships that have gone on for eternity like love was made by god and it's one of the most beautiful things and i think the world has stigmatized it and has made it something of like uh, a disturbance and it's bad right because the moment i come out if i came out and be like oh my god you know what i'm i'm in love i'm in love i'm in love i'm in love you know that kind of thing they would be like mm, baby girl don't 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 do that don't dance for love they will cheat on you they will leave you in that long run <sighs> calm down a lot of things happen in life but should we go around being scared no i'm i in that relationship that i am in i, I will hope and i will think that this one will last it doesn't matter like even if it were to end next month it still i still was there for the good reasons and i still fought the good fight so it doesn't matter don't stigmatize love love is beautiful love is a beautiful thing and i don't blame any of you who wants to pursue it and look for it you just have to work on you as you look for it and you have to have the best 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 uh reasons for starting a loving relationship and how you're going to move with it and how you're going to carry it is going to determine the relationship in the long run you know a lot of people the reasons why relationships are not working out is because they pick the people for the long wrong reasons that is what i think and those are my thoughts thank you very much for watching do not forget to like share subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified every single time i will be posting once again it was your girl kana and today she is dressed like an arabian princess you know that the, the hair the hair is hair ring mm. like <laughs> i love it so much actually it looks so nice so I'm feeling myself, definitely feeling myself. Tell me your thoughts and if I have left anything out, you can also inform me in the comment section. I will always love to listen to your thoughts. Thank you very much and you can tell me if you would want more relationship talk because I have way too much to say. Alright, bye bye. Love you.